to Bizarre Shopping Network, episode 64. My name is Kim, and that was Sylvia. Sylvia is the star of the upcoming Player Center show that is going to be a limited engagement at the end of the month, and we will share more details about the show at the end of this segment. But I have lots to share with you ahead of time. This was the perfect time to introduce Sylvia the show because this Saturday, is Barking Bazaar. We are hosting a pop-up market here in our courtyard from 10 to 3, all for dog lovers. We've got guest vendors joining us that will have treats and goodie bags and all sorts of things, and your furry friends are welcome. So bring them by Saturday from 10 to 3 from Barking Bazaar. And while we're talking to dog lovers and everybody else, Welcome, welcome, welcome. Did I even introduce myself? I'm Kim here at the Bazaar where we are open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 10 to 3. This is, this is Sylvia. She's with the Players Upcoming Show and she is co-hosting with me today. And we have lots of things to share here at the Bazaar that are dog related. I am gonna start with these adorable knitted dogs from Annie. Annie is one of the artisans with the Serendipity Art Group where art finds you. These are so cute, one of a kind. They take her about 10 to 15 hours. She says she studies the details of photos to really capture different faces. They are absolutely adorable. She also can do special commissions. So if you want your dog turned into a knitted dog from Annie, just come by and see us. They are so cute. They also come with a little woven rug. She says she uses a tiny loom to make these rugs. How cute is that? So those are the knitted dogs from Annie with the Serendipity Group. And while I'm talking about the Serendipity Group, they are the ones that have the 20 artisans in one booth at the back of the um, bazaar. If you haven't seen all their things, literally their booth alone you could spend all day in. But check these out. These are treat jars for your dog and Lorraine has um, painted on the lids. She's got this one for all you lab, lab, is this a lab? I think this is a lab. Such cute, perfect to put your dog treats in and they are all hand painted at the top. She has one for cats too, but we're talking about dogs today. So this is all for you dog lovers and dog moms out there and dog dads. So those are great treat jars from Lorraine. Hey Sylvia, what did you think about those? Do you want a treat? We'll get you a treat later. Be a good girl, be a good girl. I'm breaking character. She's not gonna break character, she says, but I already, well, I don't have to stay in character. I'm just me, right? So those were adorable from the Serendipity Art Group. And another thing that we love here at the Bazaar are the characters in quotes from Sharon. She has so many great prints featuring dogs, they are only $10 each. Re they're in a mat, they're framed, they're ready to go. And if you buy three, they'll be $25 for three. We love her talent that she has here. These are great gifts, already matted, ready to go for you. Look at the faces, she does such a great job. And I think we have breaking news. We do. Why, thank you, Susie. Oh my gosh. How amazing is this? The original gift is our florist here at the bazaar, and she just brought this in. They look like carnations that are, oh my gosh, the face on this. These are so cute. I have no idea how much they cost, but you can come in and find out. And you know who would really, really want to get a doggy floral arrangement? I think, Sylvia, what do you think? Do you want one of these? 
Be a good girl. Be a good girl and we'll get you one. I am just, thank you Susie for bringing these to show. Or, from the original get. Those are so cute. What else? Okay. Blanca has custom pillows with different dog. Can you see through the glare? These are so cute. They're solid color on the back. She's got several different doggy ones. They are only, this one's only $15. Great way to add a pop of color to your home decor. And oh, I think this is, this is a, pap, a Papillon. I love this one. The custom made pillows. This one's only $20. Our favorite lime color on the back. Great addition to add to your home decor. You don't even have to own a Papillon to like this one. So those are pillows from Blanca that are all custom designed. And also custom, Karen Chandler, who is our vintage pop queen, also does pet portraits. So check this out. Oh, the glare is pretty crazy on this. You can bring in a picture of your dog and she will turn it into an original piece of art. And the price, $3.75. That's it for your dog to be ever mortalized in a masterpiece by Karen, and that includes the frame. So bring in your picture, come talk to Karen, and have your pet portrait done. And I'm gonna go back to the close-ups, even though I'm not totally ready to show you all this. Sorry about that. These, I'm so excited to have Sylvia here, it's distracting me. <laughs> These are Bebops from Betty. They are made out of upcycled different pieces. She's got all sorts of doggy ones. This one reminds me of the Jetsons. It's got the peace and love little symbols up here. They are so reasonable. This one's only $19. I knocked one of Annie's dogs over, sorry dude. Look at this little one, so cute. $8 to have a Bebop from Betty. She uses Lego pieces, she uses screws, great upcycled items. Here's one more I'm gonna show you. This one is named Bowser. Bowser is so adorable. What do you think, Sylvia? Did you like Bowser? Good girl, good girl. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did we have an accident, Sylvia? Mmm, bad girl. Bad girl, I hope it was on the puppy pad. This is why we like to keep dogs on leashes here at the bazaar because they always find our carpets. Be good, Sylvia. All right, night shirts, oversized, from Indulgence by Dina. This one says, roughen it. Her shirts are so cute, they come in these little bags, so they make it a really great easy gift to give to someone or just to wear around the house. They are really soft, super fun designs. I love this roughing it one. And while we're talking about Indulgence by Dina, she also has these amazing bags. They are made from military tents, so they've been used and upcycled and turned. So everyone is a little bit different with their distressing, but she's got really cute designs. This one says, you can't buy love, but it can be rescued. Here's another one with the same design, but in a different color, and they've got different embellishments. This one has like a really groovy key on it. She also has cross body, little sizes. So let's go, this one's hard to see, so I'm gonna go to the close up. It's got a picture on it with some cowboy boots and a really cute dog. Love this one. They are crossbody bags. They come with a strap. She also has the, you can't buy love, but it can be rescued in the smaller sizes. These you know are gonna last forever. They were military tents, upcycled into these great crossbody bags and purses. So they're durable, great prices. So come see all the different ones that Dina has at her booth, Indulgence by Dina. And let's see. So many things here for dog lovers. It's just insane. But we have 
earrings, guitar pick earrings from Jeannie with the box. Really cute. Here's another one that she has that says rescue, adopt, guitar pick earrings. They're $12 or $13. Super fun to wear. She's got great selection. And check out these nail files. So these are nail files with polymer clay. They're baked on. They will last forever. Really cute from Serendipity Art Group from Kim. Got the little paw prints on them. And while I'm here, it can't be a dog episode without our favorite succulent plant craft designs holder. Look at that face. Does it look like Sylvia's face? Let's compare. Sylvia, Sylvia, did you like this one? What do you think of this one? Good, we like it too. And we also put together a little video. So this is the dogs of the bazaar. We have so many of our Bazaar family members that have their dogs. Some of them come in all the time, like Wilson from Creative Hands of Sarasota. This is Sharon's grand dog with characters and quotes. This is the latest addition to the Bazaar family. We love her. She was adopted at one of our events here by Teresa. She is the sweetest, cutest dog. We're so happy she has a home here. That's Nice has two doggies. That's Nice is one of our fairly new vendors. She creates amazing art with um, frames and dressers. We've got Pink Sebastian Boutique. Blossom is very famous. If you haven't followed Pink Sebastian on Instagram, very famous dog, Blossom. And Polly with My Fish Out of Water. Polly is super sweet, so great. Loves hanging out here. And this is our brand new vendor, Colleen C. And she does bring Dox, I think Doxy is the dog's name, into the bazaar. So we love have, being pet friendly. We do, you know, keep your dogs on a leash or if they're little, please carry them. We do have lots of breakable things around here. But this Saturday, definitely bring your dogs here because it is Barking Bazaar Saturday from 10 to 3. I think I have a little image there. So many vendors are gonna be coming out, joining us. We've got Satchel's Last Resort, bringing some pets that need their forever homes. Lots of fun vendors, lots of unique different things coming out. We also wanna remind you that Sunday is Jazz Brunch. Every other Sunday, Hamlet's Eatery is presenting Jazz Brunch. It is so much fun, 10 to 2. The weather is going to be incredible. This Jamie um, Yonkin is an award-winning musician. I cannot wait for her to come. She is going to be incredible. So definitely come out. And that, I think, is it for all our the fun items that we wanted to show today. I am going to ask Amanda, AK, otherwise known as Sylvia, to come up and talk a little bit about all the different shows that are going on at the players, including Sylvia, which she is starring in. So come on in, Amanda. I'll get out of your way. Hi. Oh, look up here. Hello. Look, there's the poster for Sylvia. So Sylvia is going to be here at the Bazaar on Apricot and Lime on March 24th, 25th, and then on the 27th and 28th. So come, there's adult language, but it's super, super funny. Um, I highly recommend it, although I think I might be a little biased because I'm in it. But I think that you'll really enjoy it, especially if you like dogs, but it's very funny. I am playing, obviously, a dog, but I'm a woman, so, and I get to talk, and it's not just barking. So if you're worried about that, don't be. But come by, because it's really, really funny. But then, Kim is so nice to let our, the player studio students perform here at the bazaar. So we also have this whole other subset of um, our education department and we offer classes in acting, singing, and dancing. 
So we have students of all ages, and two of their performances in the spring are going to be here at the bazaar. So yeah, we're super excited, and they're super good, so come, come support them. Um, they're doing Bad Auditions by Bad Actors. I'm directing that one, and they're really good. Um, and the tickets are only $15, and it's basically like you're in a room, like a, an audition room, and the actors are just not that great and a little crazy. So it's really funny. Um, come see that, it's $15, April 2nd and 3rd. Then we have Moana Jr., like Disney's Moana Jr. So I'm sure that you've probably heard of Moana. Um, it's great, the music is awesome, the kids are working really hard and it's gonna be really, really pretty and beautiful. Um, and it's April 30th and May 1st, so come support those students, those amazing musical theater students we have. Um, the tickets are only $15 for our student shows. And then, something a little different, the Player Center is helping Dingbat Theater Project do a really, really exciting adaptation of Shrek here at the Bazaar on Apricot and Lime, May 7th through 15th. So Shrek is an awesome musical. If you only thought it was a cartoon, it's not. So um, get your, well, the tickets aren't on sale yet, but look out for that. The tickets are on sale for all these other shows that I've already mentioned um, at theplayers.org. But this show is not yet, but look out on social media for that. It's going, I think they're gonna go live in the next like three or four days. So that will be like really, really cool. It's like a little different than how it's normally done. So that is really exciting. And we're really, really happy that Kim lets us come here and that the Hamlet's here and that this is like such a great place for artists, for us to do our craft when it's been a little bit difficult. So thank you so much, Kim. And like, please come see our shows. Thank you so much for letting me be here. Thank you, Amanda, for sharing everything. Um, we will put all these different events on our Facebook page, on our website. So we are so, we are just, I feel fortunate that we are able to provide an environment for these actors and musicians and artists to come and have a place to perform. They've been having, we're not gonna lie, this past year has kind of sucked y'all. So we have given them an opportunity and it's an honor for us and the talent is crazy, um, just, unbelievably talented group of people. We're so excited they're here. Also, Friday and Saturday, McCurdy's Comedy Club is coming back. They sold out, so get your tickets soon. They are available on their website. If you don't get our emails, be sure to sign up because there is, there is a lot going on and we send out a weekly email with all the different events and of course, follow us on Facebook. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been a very fun-filled episode of Bizarre Shopping Network, where we have gone to the dogs. Thanks for tuning in.